you've come to the longest hat YouTube channel on YouTube. So thank you so much for coming back. Hopefully you've enjoyed what I've been putting out. And if you have, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit your notifications so you get notified when I upload the next video. And if you want to see videos before everybody else, always consider becoming a member of the channel and help support one of your favorite YouTubers so I can do more content for you guys. So we've been working on the Giants 100 hat collection videos. And obviously I've said this in the past. I don't know if I have 100 hats. It's going to be close. Was able to find 10 more. So we're going to take a look at the next 10 Giants hats. So this will get us from uh, 81 to 90. We are honestly going to be close to the 100 mark. I might even have to actually maybe go to a blue store or something and pick up a couple of Giants hats just to make it 100. And I really don't want to do that because one of my uh, things I've always tried to do over the years is not necessarily buy a hat just because it's a Giants hat. I've tried to buy typically hats that I like. So uh, it would have to be a Giants hat I would like. But in order to suffice for this video, I might have to go pick up a Giants hat just to make 100. And I don't really want to do that because I do know there are a couple of hats that will be coming out. Uh, by the time you see this video, they've already would have came out. But like the spring training and the St. Patrick's Day and potentially the opening day and the Jackie Robinson drop hats would have been out or released already. So uh, those are the next number of drops that I know are definitely coming up and I might be trying to pick up a couple Giants hats from those drops unless I really have to. So we'll see. So without further ado, guys, let's go on. Giants hats number 81 to 90. Let's go! All right, so the first hat, nobody really showed this hat. I thought this was a cool hat, a cool concept, but we got, bam, the San Francisco Giants reprieve hat. And the cool part about this hat, and the reason why I leave the tag on this particular hat is because it says it took four plastic bottles to make this hat so you know i'm big into recycling and so i liked it this was also when hats were 34.99 and it even says on the inside uh it says recycled bottles reprive chip reprive recycled fiber new era hat this is the cap so i even left the little paper in there like i said i haven't worn this hat and then you go look at the tag and it just says 100 percent reprieve recycled polyester made in china so very interesting concept you can't tell the difference on the sense of the fabric the fabric is a lighter fabric and the size a little bit on the bigger side but definitely not a bad one it is in grayish charcoal i should say dark charcoal color but it's just a really nice one it has a new era flag of course batterman on the back it's a batterman on the back it's actually not that bad so Freaking love this concept that they try to do. Whoops, dropped it. Sorry, guys. I love that concept that they try to do something uh, recycling. We might maybe see that more in the future. What do you guys think about that one? Did you pick up the reprieve hat like I did? Uh, personally, I didn't really see a lot of them out there. I feel like some people would just, I don't know, people are weird and they're like, I wouldn't want a hat made out of like recycled plastic bottles. I mean, honestly, if you didn't know it was made out of recycled plastic bottles, probably would still get it, right? I'm just saying. All right, next hat, an oldie but a goodie, but we got, bam, we got the 2017 Spring Training Collection hat, and this was a very nice one. This does have the uh, diamond technology, as they call it. I'm not really sure why they call it technology, but it's the diamond style, and it's supposed to be, you know, breathability nice you got your uh, az patch right there this one has nothing on the back just your batterman and new era flag right there gray and gray this one is a seven and a half from 2017 and it's a little bit on the tighter side but it actually does not feel that bad the next one we have oh this one was called uh i think this one was called the uh shattered collection this was a blue store drop, but we got it. Bam! 
And this one was just a really cool idea. So the logo, it's in a heavy type metal plastic, I should say. This was just a really cool concept. It is a thick logo, as you can see. And then the inside, of course, it's all black. You got the nice taping, black and black. This one generally does run a little bit small because they had to do it this way. I, I'm guessing, and this is just my guess, but this is probably maybe uh, ironed on on this side. And this is why there's that extra little padding right there because this does, you can feel it clearly through this side. So you can, uh, I think it was ironed on. You got an all black and white batterman in the back. So it just looks really cool. Uh, I don't know if these hats got a lot of love because we didn't really see them on other channels. This next one, this was called, uh, oh, the uh, Metal Thread Collection. Bam! from the blue store and what it is obviously you got a metal sf logo with the white 758 also this one has an embroidery graph of buster posey that i put on there you can do that at any blue store and uh you can pay a small fee i think it's like uh 18.99 or something like that uh to put an embroidery graph but you could always uh get a discount too with your premium access pass membership so that is freaking awesome. It's one of the few times I've actually put on like an embroider graph. I've done that on a couple hockey ones and a couple baseball ones, but usually I don't put that kind of stuff on it. The next one is a 2018, but we got the Jackie Robinson collection. I'm not sure if I actually got this at New Era or the Blue Store, but this one is pretty simple. It just has the Jackie 42 right there. There. So I try to pick up the uh, Jackie Robinson drop every year. Uh, a lot of times, I, if I can, I like to try to pick up the Brooklyn version. I don't think I have a Dodgers version. Maybe I might need to get one eventually, but I typically get maybe the Giants one. The next one we have, this is a, another spring training collection. Maybe 2019, I don't know. Let me know down in the comment sections what year this is because they didn't put the year on it. I hate it when they don't put the year on it on these uh, spring training ones because I mean obviously I could look it up but very nice one this does have the uh, hex tech technology or the fabric unlike the other one that had the uh, diamond version nice gray and black this one just looks really freaking nice not too bad and it's really not out of the uh, normality for being a giant's hat so freaking looks awesome gray gray and gray taping and that looks really clean as well so check that one out the next one, um, I've talked a little bit about this one already because uh, I showed you guys another hat that was similar to this one, which was this one a couple videos ago. I still haven't put it away, but remember I told you how I kind of could go with that one because it's 49ers colorway, but I told you that there was a different one that's more 49er colorway, but technically it's 49er colorway because it's white and red, but we got it. A. Bam! red and gold colorway and i freaking love this one this one is just sick you got the gold uv you got the black sweatband and it's just gold all over right there new air flag gold button that one i don't know about you guys it's just a really sick looking colorway has a black sweatband looks awesome seriously i don't know let me know down in the comment do you prefer the white or the gold one I prefer the gold. I'm just saying, the white one's okay, but the gold one's better. Um, these ones were done by the Blue Store, more of a, a fashion line, a fashion drop to go with like shoes and stuff. The next one, one of the original hype drop hats, but we got, bam! I believe this was the Cobra Kai one edition. And for me, I just I honestly really liked it. I thought this was a sick colorway with the yellow, the black. You got the 2010 World Series. I just thought this was just a really good combination. Flip it on underneath and you got red and white. They just did a really good job with this. But the problem is they overdid it with all the high pats, started bringing out more of similar high pats that we've already seen in the past. And it just got way too much. So Cobra Kai, right there. Sick one. I really like that one. Another one that we got, and I showed you the earlier version of this one, of the green version, which was the Fall Prism Collection, but we have a orange Fall Prism Collection. And as I mentioned before, this is why I don't take off the stickers for the same reason like the Blackout Collection or the green Fall Prism Collection, because 
if you don't know the hats or you don't remember uh, or there's something similar to that particular drop, you may forget that this was a Fall Prism collection. And then on top of it, I mentioned this about the uh, Blackout collection. This was one of the few times that New Era decided to use a different color sticker and they went all same color as it. Now, obviously there's a lot of tail signs that say this hat is different from other drops that might be similar with like a similar colorway and it's because the sweatband is orange the uv is orange the taping is orange and the tagging is orange so with the fall prism collection i had to make sure i at least got the orange of the giants in this one now if they would have the tigers i might have considered getting the tigers but Obviously, I got what I could in my local area, so this one was just pretty dope. So, like this one, perfect to wear, say Halloween, or uh, when the uh, Giants do like an orange out, when they do, I think they wear those jerseys typically on a Friday night. And the next one, and I forget what this one's called. You guys will have to let me know down in the comment section, but we got, bam, San Francisco Giants, black and red. I believe this was a, a hat club drop. I apologize if I can't remember the year. I like this one because this, from what I remember already, looking at all the Giants hats from 81 to 90, I think this is the first time this one has the six time World Series champions on this one. So you have a 05, 21, 22, 33, right there, 54, 10, 12, and 14 patch right there on the side so i don't think they've used that patch in all the hats that we looked at so then you have your batterman on the back it just looks really nice and then this makes perfect sense and you have a red and you have a white a little bit dirty on the sweat band because i do wear this one or i have worn this one i should say and the fitting is a little bit tight but you know that's why I get a 5.8 because I don't have to worry about returning it. So let me know down in the comment section, which one did you like? Did you like the red and gold or do you like this one? Or did you like the Cobra Kai? See, these are all, I, you got to admit, these are all nice hats. I personally think so. So let me know if you guys got any of these in your collection and let me know which one of these three that you liked. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We are on our way to 100. Hopefully we got it. This was 81 to 90. So we got 10 more Giants hats to find. So hopefully I got it. I don't know if I do, guys. It's going to be really close. So stay tuned, guys, for the Giants collection. All right, you guys. Sir Gigi, PhD. I'll see you guys later. Bye.